Hi, I'm Goran Riste, founder of Goran Grooves and developer of Handy Drums plugins. In this video, I'll show you around Handy Drums plugins graphic user interface and what each element does. The first thing you'll notice is the mixer. It gives you immediate access to all of the essential functionalities. Here, you can quickly preview instruments, adjust the volume of individual groups and individual components, pan them, swap left and right, or turn them mono, solo, and mute instrument channels. You can also quickly and easily assign knobs and sliders from any hardware MIDI controller to all of the elements of the mixer. All Handy Drums drum sets contain essential percussion instruments. You can switch between them using the tabs. Expanding the main subgroup panel allows you to easily adjust the overall balance between the drum set and percussion instrument groups. The panel that runs the length of the plugin below the mixer holds the access to all of the other sections. Starting from the left, the first button brings up the on-screen musical keyboard. The keys assigned to instruments are colored orange and will be updated upon mapping changes. To the left of the on-screen keyboard is a virtual mod wheel assigned to CC4 that controls the openness of the variable heads which is visually reflected in the hi-hat icon of the hi-hat channel. You can easily assign any CC controller to this mod wheel and control the hi-hat with that CC. Pressing the button to the right will bring up the MIDI loop browser panel. The built-in Handy Drums MIDI Loop browser allows you to easily browse through all MIDI loops on your computer, audition any MIDI loops, and insert them into your project by simply dragging them onto your DAWs timeline. This is a welcome addition to most users of DAWs that lack this functionality. Next is our key mapping and pitch tuning panel, accessible by pressing the key mapping button. The Handy Drums version 2.0 plugins offer advanced key mapping and basic pitch tuning features. All available instruments are displayed in a grid format with incoming MIDI notes and CC information visually presented on the top. Note indicators light up when instruments are triggered and hovering over instrument names reveals dynamic drum pads. The Strike to Learn function allows for easy MIDI controller mapping and blank mapping enables you to assign multiple keys to a single instrument, which is particularly handy for keyboard players playing drum rolls. Pitch tuning is accessible via a toggle, with each instrument featuring a knob for pitch adjustments up or down by semitones. Lastly, the e-drummer mode tailors the plugin specifically for electronic drummers with instant mapping adjustments. The preset manager, accessible by pressing the relevant button, allows you to save and recall the entire state of the plugin. This is especially useful for saving drum maps. Clicking on the output routing button will bring up output options below each instrument group, including the two main subgroups. Handy Drums version 2.0 come with 16 stereo outputs, up from the previous 8. By default, all instruments are routed to the first stereo output. Note that the multiple outputs are only available in the plugin and not in the standalone apps. Make sure to check the documentation on enabling multiple plugin outputs within your particular DAW as the procedure varies from DAW to DAW and must be set before you can change outputs inside our plugins. The Gears button takes you to the plugin settings. Here you can set the graphic user interface size set or change sample library location, set your sound device, driver, and outputs, select the MIDI controller, and set the MIDI channels. Note that because your DAW controls some of those settings internally, they will only be available in the Handy Drums standalone app. By default, starting with version 2.0, Handy Drums load the samples using the on-demand procedure. Loading the samples into the memory only once they play for the first time allows the plugin to initiate quickly at the start. It also keeps the memory consumption to a minimum since only the needed samples are ever loaded. When toggling this switch on, you can use the unique variable hi-hats of handy drums with any regular GM drum loop. 
The eDrummer mode is tailored for drummers using electronic drums to trigger handy drums, whether you use a single or dual zone hi-hats. Using this curve, eDrummers can precisely adjust how their hi-hat foot controller interacts with the plugin. This video was an overview of the functionalities and features of handy drums. We've covered each of these functions in greater detail in dedicated videos. Check them out for a deeper understanding of how to best utilize handy drums. If you haven't yet experienced the latest version of handy drums, head over to Gordon Gru's library and get a free trial now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.